The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans And he it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne is upon the water, that he might try you, which of you is best indeed. And if thou say, you will be raised up after death, those who are indifferent to warning will say, this is only obvious sorcery. And if we delay for them the punishment until a reckoned time, they will say, what detains it? In truth, the day it comes to them, there will be no averting from them, and there will surround them that whereat they mocked. And if we cause man to taste mercy from us, then remove it from him, he is without hope an ingrate. And if we cause him to taste grace after affliction has touched him, he says, the evil has left me. He is exultant, proud, save those who are patient and do deeds of righteousness. They have forgiveness and a great reward. And it may be that thou leave some of what thou art instructed, and thy breast be straightened, that they say, Oh, that a treasure had but been sent down upon him, or an angel had but come with him. Thou art but a warner, and God is guardian over all things. If they say, He has invented it, say thou, then bring ten surahs, the like thereof invented, and call to whom you can besides God, if you be truthful. Then, if they respond not to you, know that it is but sent down with the knowledge of God, and there is no God save he. Then will you be submitted? Whoso desires the life of this world and its adornment, we will repay them their deeds therein, and they will not be deprived therein. These are they for whom there is nothing in the hereafter save the fire, and vain is what they wrought therein, and vanity is what they did. Is then he who is upon clear evidence from his Lord, ellipsis, like one who is not, to continue? And a witness from him recites it, and before it the law of Musa, as an example and mercy. These believe in it. And whoso denies it among the parties, the fire is his appointment. And be thou not in doubt concerning it. It is the truth from thy Lord, but most men do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God? These will be brought before their Lord, and the witnesses will say, These are they who lied against their Lord. In truth, the curse of God is upon the wrongdoers, those who forsake the path of God and would make it crooked, and are deniers of the hereafter. These have not escaped in the earth and they have not any allies besides God. Doubled for them is the punishment. They could not hear, and they did not see. These are they who lost their souls, and strayed from them is what they invented. Beyond doubt, in the hereafter, they are those most in loss. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness and humble themselves before their Lord, these are the companions of the garden wherein they abide eternally. The example of the two factions is as the blind and the deaf and the seeing and the hearer. Are they equal in example? Will you then not take heed? And we sent Noch to his people I am a clear warner to you, that you serve not save God. I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. Then said the eminent ones who were indifferent to warning among his people, We see thee only a mortal like us. 
and we see not that any follow thee save those who are lowest among us at first appearance, and we see not in you over us any merit. The truth is, we consider you liars. He said, O oh, my people, have you considered, if I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and there has come to me mercy from his presence, but made obscure to you, should we compel you to accept it, when you are averse to it? And, O oh my people, I ask of you no wealth for it. My reward is only upon God, and I am not to repel those who heed warning. They are going to meet their Lord. But I see you are a people in ignorance. And, O oh my people, who will save me from God if I repel them? Will you then not take heed? And I say not to you, I have the treasuries of God, nor I have knowledge of the unseen, nor do I say, I am an angel, nor say I to those whom your eyes disdain, God will not give them good. God knows best what is in their souls. Then should I be of the wrongdoers. They said, O oh, no, thou hast disputed with us, and greatly disputed with us. Bring thou upon us what thou promisest us, if thou be of those who speak the truth. He said, God will but bring it upon you if he should will, and you will not escape. And nor will my sincere counsel profit you if I wish to give you sincere counsel, if God has wished to lead you astray. He is your Lord, and to him will you be returned. If they say he has invented it, say thou, if I have invented it, then upon me be my crime, but I am innocent of what you commit. And Noch was instructed, None of thy people will believe, save he who has already believed. And be thou not distressed at what they did. And make thou the ship under our eyes, and our instruction, and speak thou not to me on behalf of those who have done wrong. They will be drowned. And he made the ship. And every time eminent ones among his people passed by him, they derided him. He said, If you deride us, yet will we deride you just as you deride, and you will come to know him to whom comes a punishment that disgraces him, and upon whom there descends a lasting punishment. When our command had come to pass, and the oven gushed forth, we said, Load thou therein of every pair too, and thy household, save him against whom the word has gone forth, and him who believes. And there believed with him only a few. And he said, Board her, in the name of God be her passage and her arrival. My Lord is forgiving, merciful. And it sailed with them amid waves like mountains, and Noch cried to his son, and he was set apart, O my son, board thou with us, and be thou not with those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Said he, I will take shelter in a mountain that will protect me from the water. He said, There is none this day that protects from the command of God, save for him upon whom he has mercy. And the waves came between them, and he was among those drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow thou thy water, and O sky, desist thou. And the water subsided, and the command was concluded, and it came to rest upon al Judi. And it was said, Away with the wrongdoing people. And Nuh cried to his lord, and said, My lord, my son, is of my household. But thy promise is the truth, and thou art the most just of judges. He said, O Nuh, he is not of thy household, he is an unrighteous deed. So ask thou not me of that whereof thou hast no knowledge. I exhort thee, lest thou be among the ignorant. 
said he, My Lord, in thee do I seek refuge, lest I ask of thee that whereof I have no knowledge. And save thou forgive me, and have mercy on me, I will be among the losers. It was said, O Noch, get thee down with peace from us, and blessings upon thee, and upon nations out of those with thee, and nations to whom we will give enjoyment. Then a painful punishment from us will touch them. That is among the reports of the unseen in which we instruct thee. Thou knewest it not, neither thou nor did thy people before this, so be thou patient. The final outcome is for those of prudent fear. And to Ad, their brother Hood, he said, O my people, serve God. You have no God but he. You are only inventing. O oh, my people, I ask of you no reward for it. My reward is only upon him who made me. Will you then not use reason? And, O oh, my people, seek forgiveness of your Lord. Then turn to him. He will send the sky upon you in torrents and add to you strength to your strength. And turn not away as evildoers. They said, O Hood, thou hast not brought us clear evidence, and we are not going to leave our gods upon thy saying, and we do not believe thee. We say only that some of our gods have afflicted thee with evil. He said, I call God to witness, and bear witness that I am innocent of that to which you ascribe a partnership besides him. So scheme against me altogether, then grant me no respite. I have placed my trust in God, my Lord and your Lord. There is no creature, save he has it by its forelock. My Lord is on a straight path. Then, if you turn away, I have conveyed to you that wherewith I was sent to you. And my Lord will make succeed you, a people other than you, and you cannot harm him at all. My Lord is custodian over all things. And when our command came, we delivered Hood and those who heeded warning with him by mercy from us, and we saved them from a stern punishment. And those were Ad. They denied the proofs of their Lord and opposed his messengers, and followed the command of every obstinate tyrant. And they were followed by a curse in this world. And on the day of resurrection, ellipsis, evil is the gift given. To continue, in truth, Ad denied their Lord. Was it not away with Ad, the people of Hud? And to Thamud, their brother Salih, he said, O oh, my people, serve God, you have no God but he. He brought you into being from the earth and settled you therein, so seek forgiveness of your Lord and turn to him. My Lord is near, responsive. They said, O oh, Salih, thou hadst been among us, one in whom hope was placed before this, Dost thou forbid us to serve what our fathers served? We are in sceptical doubt about that to which thou invitest us. He said, O oh, my people, have you considered? If I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and there has come to me mercy from him, then who will help me against God if I disobey him? Then would you not increase me other than in loss, and, O oh, my people, this is the she-camel of God as a proof for you. So leave her to feed in God's earth, and touch her not with evil, for there will take you a near punishment. Then they brutally slaughtered her, and he said, Take pleasure in your dwellings three days. That is a promise not to be belied. And when our command came, we delivered Salih and those who heeded warning with him by mercy from us and from the disgrace of that day. Thy Lord, he 
is the strong, the mighty. And the blast overtook those who did wrong, and morning found them lying prone in their dwellings, as though they had not lived therein. In truth, Thamud denied their lord. Was it not away with Thamud? And our messengers came to Ibrahim with glad tidings. They said, Peace, said he, Peace. And he tarried not to bring a roasted calf. And when he saw their hands reaching not towards it, he was estranged from them and felt fear from them. They said, Fear thou not, we are sent to the people of Lut. And his wife stood, and she laughed, and we gave her glad tidings of Ishaq. And after Ishaq, Yaqub, she said, Oh, woe is me! Shall I bear a child when I am an old woman, and this my husband is an old man? This is an amazing thing. They said, Art thou amazed at the command of God? The mercy of God and his blessings are upon you, the people of the house. He is praiseworthy and glorious. And when the alarm had left Ibrahim and the glad tidings reached him, he pleaded with us for the people of Lut. Ibrahim was forbearing, compassionate, penitent. O Ibrahim, forsake thou this. The command of thy Lord has come, and come to them is a punishment which cannot be repelled. And when our messengers came to Lut, he was distressed for them and straitened with unease for them. And he said, This is a fateful day. And his people came to him, running towards him, and they had been doing evil before. He said, O oh my people, these are my daughters, they are purer for you. So be in prudent fear of God, and disgrace me not concerning my guests. Is there then not among you a right-minded man? They said, Thou knowest we have no right to thy daughters, and thou knowest what we desire. He said, Would that I had power over you, or could take shelter with strong supporters. Said they, O Lut, we are messengers of thy Lord, they will not reach thee. And travel thou with thy household by watches of the night, and let not any one of you turn around, save thy wife. There will befall her what befalls them. Their appointment is the morning. Is then the morning not near? And when our command came, we overthrew it, and rained upon it stones of brimstone, piled up in layers marked in the sight of thy Lord and it is not far from the wrongdoers. And to Madian, their brother Shuaib, he said, O my people, serve God, you have no God but he. Defraud not the measure and the balance. I see you in affluence, and I fear for you the punishment of an encompassing day. And, O my people, fulfill the measure and the balance with equity and deprive not men of their things, and commit not evil in the earth working corruption. What remains from God is better for you if you be believers, and I am not a custodian over you. They said, O Shuaib, does thy duty command thee that we leave what our fathers served, or that we do with our property what we will? Thou art the forbearing, the right-minded, he said, O oh my people, have you considered? If I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and he provides me a goodly provision from him, ellipsis, then do I not wish to deprive you of what is rightfully yours, to continue. And I desire not to oppose you unto that which I forbid you. I desire only right ordering so far as I am able, and my success is only through God. In him have I placed my trust, and to him do I turn. And, O oh my people, let not my dissension cause you to commit evil, that there befall you what befell the people of Nuh, or the people of Hud, or the people of Saleh. And the people of Lut are not far from you, and seek forgiveness of your Lord, 
then turned to him, My Lord is merciful, loving. They said, O Shuaib, we understand not much of what thou sayest, and we see thee among us as weak. And were it not for thy family, we would have stoned thee, and thou art of no account to us. He said, O my people, is my family more esteemed by you than God? And him have you put behind your backs? My Lord encompasses what you do. And, O oh, my people, work according to your power. I am working. You will come to know to whom comes a punishment that disgraces him and who is a liar. And watch, I am with you watching. And when our command came, we saved Shuaib and those who heeded warning with him by mercy from us. And the blast took those who were doing wrong, so morning found them lying prone in their dwellings as though they had not lived therein. Was it not away with Madian, even as Thamud was taken away? And we sent Musa with our proofs and a clear warrant to Firaun and his eminent ones. Then they followed the command of Firaun. And the command of Firaun was not right-minded. He will go before his people on the day of resurrection and conduct them to the fire. And evil is the arrival place arrived at. And they are followed here by a curse. And on the day of resurrection, Evil is the gift given. That is among the reports of the cities we relate to thee. Among them are standing and reaped. And he wronged them not, but they wronged their souls. And their gods to whom they called besides God availed them not anything. When there came the command of thy Lord and they increased them not save in ruin. And thus is the seizing of thy Lord when he takes the cities and they are doing wrong. His seizing is painful, strong. In that is a proof for those who fear the punishment of the hereafter. That is a day to which mankind will be gathered, and that is a day witnessed. And we delay it only to a term appointed, on the day it comes, no soul will speak save by his leave, and among them are the miserable and the glad. And as for those who are miserable, into the fire! They have therein moaning and wailing, they abiding eternally therein, so long as the heavens and the earth endure, save that thy Lord should will. Thy Lord is doer of what he wills. And as for those who are glad into the garden, they abiding eternally therein, so long as the heavens and the earth endure, save that thy Lord should will, a bestowal without end. So be thou not in doubt concerning what these serve. They serve only as their fathers served before, and we will pay them in full their portion without reduction. And we gave Musa the law, then was it disputed about. And were it not that a word had gone forth from thy Lord, it would have been concluded between them. And they are in sceptical doubt concerning it. And to each... Thy Lord will repay his works in full. He is of what they do aware. So be thou upright, like as thou art commanded, and he who repented with thee, and transgress not, he sees what you do. And rely not upon those who do wrong, for the fire will touch you, and you have besides God no allies. Then will you not be helped. And uphold thou the duty at the two ends of the day and watches of the night, good deeds take away evil. That is a reminder for those who remember. And be thou patient, for God suffers not to be lost the reward of the doers of good. And oh, that among the generations before you there had but been a remnant forbidding corruption in the earth, 
save a few whom we saved among them. And those who did wrong followed what they had been given therein of opulence, and were evil doers. And thy Lord destroyed not the cities in injustice, when their people were those who do right. And had thy Lord willed, he would have made mankind one community, but they will cease not to differ, save he upon whom thy Lord has mercy. And for that did he create them, and the word of thy Lord is fulfilled. I will fill hell with gin and mankind all together. And all we relate to thee among the reports of the messengers is that we might make firm thy heart thereby. And there has come to thee in this the truth and an exhortation and a reminder for the believers. And say thou to those who do not believe, Work according to your power. I am working. And wait, we are waiting. And to God belongs the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and to him will be returned the whole matter. So serve thou him, and place thou thy trust in him, and thy Lord is not unmindful of what you do. Chapter 12 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. Those are the proofs of the clear law, we sent it down as an Arabic recitation that you might use reason. We narrate to thee the best of narratives in what we instruct thee of this Qur'an, and thou wast before it among those unaware. When Yusuf said to his father, O oh, my father, I saw eleven stars and the sun and the moon, I saw them submitting to me, he said, O oh, my son, tell thou not thy dream to thy brethren, lest they plan a plan against thee. The shaitan is to man an open enemy. And thus will thy Lord choose thee and teach thee the interpretation of events, and complete his favour upon thee and upon the house of Yaqub, as he completed it upon thy fathers before, Ibrahim and Ishaq, Thy Lord is knowing, wise. In Yusuf and his brethren are proofs for those who ask. When they said, Yusuf and his brother are dearer to our father than are we, when we are a group. Our father is in obvious error. Kill Yusuf or banish him to a land. The countenance of your father will pass to you, and be after it a righteous people said one speaker among them, Kill not Yusuf, but cast him into the depth of the well. Some caravan will find him, if you must act. They said, O our father, what is with thee? Thou dost not trust us with Yusuf, when we are sincere counsellors to him. Send thou him with us on the morrow, that he might run and play, and we will keep him safe. He said, it saddens me that you should take him, and I fear lest the wolf eat him when you are unmindful of him. They said, If the wolf eat him when we are a group, then will we be the losers. Then when they took him and agreed to place him in the depth of the well, and we instructed him, Thou wilt inform them of this deed of theirs when they perceive not. And went to their father in the evening weeping. They said, O oh, our father, we went to run races and left Yusuf with our goods, and the wolf ate him. And thou wouldst not be one who believes us, though we speak the truth. And they came with false blood on his shirt. He said, the truth is, your souls have enticed you into a matter. Then comely patience, and God is the one whose aid is sought against what you describe. And there came a caravan, and they sent their water drawer, and he let down his pail. He said, Oh, glad tidings, here is a lad! And they hid him as merchandise and God knows what they did. 
and they sold him for a low price, a few dirhams, and they set no store by him. And said he who brought him from Misr to his wife, Be thou generous in his dwelling. It may be that he will benefit us, or we will take him as a son. And thus did we establish Yusuf in the land, and that we might teach him the interpretation of events. And God prevails over his affair, but most men understand not. And when he reached maturity, we gave him judgment and knowledge. And thus reward we the doers of good. And she, in whose household he was, sought to lure him away from his soul. And she closed the doors and said, Come thou hither. He said, I seek refuge in God. He is my Lord who made good my dwelling. The wrongdoers do not succeed. And she desired him, and he desired her. Were it not that he saw the evidence of his Lord, Ellipsis, he would have acted upon his desire to continue thus, that we might turn away from him evil and sexual immorality. He was among our pure-hearted servants. And they raced to the door, and she tore his shirt from behind, and they met her master at the door. She said, What is the reward of him who wishes evil on thy household, save that he be imprisoned or a painful punishment? Said he, She it was who sought to lure me away from my soul. And there bore witness a witness of her household, if his shirt be torn from the front, she has spoken the truth, and he is a liar. And if his shirt be torn from behind, she has lied, and he is of those who speak the truth. And when he saw his shirt torn from behind, he said, This is a plan of you women. Your plan is tremendous. Yusuf, disregard thou this, and wife, ask thou forgiveness for thy transgression. Thou art among those in error. And women in the town said, The wife of the governor is seeking to lure her houseboy away from his soul. He has enslaved her to love. We see her in clear error. And when she heard of their scheming, she sent to them, and prepared for them a feasting couch, and gave to every one of them a knife, and said, Come thou out to them. And when they saw him, they exalted him and cut their hands and said, God forbid, this is no mortal, this is only a noble angel. She said, This is he for whom you censored me. And I sought to lure him away from his soul, and he proved patient. But if he do not what I command him, he will be imprisoned and be of those brought low. He said, My Lord, prison is preferable to me than that to which they invite me, and save thou divert their plan from me, I will incline to them and be among the ignorant. And his Lord responded to him and diverted their plan from him. He is the hearing, the knowing. Then it became clear to them, after that they had seen the proofs, that they should imprison him for a time. And two young men entered the prison with him. One of them said, I saw that I was pressing wine. And the other said, I saw that I was carrying upon my head bread whereof the birds were eating. Inform thou us of the interpretation. We see thou art among the doers of good, said he, there will not come to you food wherewith you are provided, save that I will inform you of its interpretation before it comes to you. That is of what my Lord has taught me. I left the creed of people who believe not in God and are deniers of the hereafter and followed the creed of my fathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq and Yaqub. It is not for us to ascribe a partnership to God in anything. That is the bounty of God upon us and upon mankind. But most men are not grateful. 
O oh, my two prison companions, are diverse lords better, or God, the one, the omnipotent? You serve besides him only names which you have named, you and your fathers. God sent not down any warrant for them. Judgment is only for God. He commanded that you serve not, save him. That is the right doctrine, but most men know not. O oh, my two prison companions, as for one of you, he will pour out for his lord wine, and as for the other, he will be put to death upon a stake, so that the birds will eat from his head. Concluded is the matter about which you sought opinion. And he said to him he thought would be delivered of the two, Remember thou me before thy lord. But the shaitan caused him to forget the remembrance of his lord, and he stayed in prison some years. And the king said, I saw seven fat cows, which seven lean were eating, and seven green ears of corn, and the same again dry. O oh, eminent ones, advise me concerning my dream, if you can interpret dreams. They said, confused dreams, and we are not learned in the interpretation of dreams. And said he who was delivered of the two and remembered after a life of ease, I will inform you of the interpretation, send thou me. Yusuf, O thou man of truth, advise thou us on the seven fat cows which seven lean were eating, and seven green ears of corn, and the same again dry, that I might return to the people, that they might know. He said, You will sow seven years as usual. That you have reaped, leave in its ear, save a little. Of that will you eat. Then will come after that seven hard. They will eat what you have provided for them, save a little of what you will keep guarded. Then after that will come a year wherein men will be given abundant rain, and wherein they will press. And the king said, Bring him to me. And when the messenger came to him, he said, Return thou to thy lord, and ask him what is the state of the women who cut their hands. My lord knows of their plan. Said he, what was the case of you women when you sought to lure Yusuf away from his soul? They said, God forbid, we know not of any evil against him. Said the wife of the governor, Now the truth is out. I sought to lure him away from his soul, and he speaks the truth. That is so he might know that I have not betrayed him unseen and God guides not the plan of the betrayers.